I like the Illusion 9600M and its predecessor, the Illusion 9600. And so when the first test flight of the modernized Illusion 9600M took place, I was excited. For me, it's all about the plane and not the politics behind it. The fact is that previous attempts to modernize the Illusion 9600 had failed with the Illusion 9600 as it did not make commercial sense. With modern Boeing and Airbus widebody jets available to Russian airlines at the time, it was not appealing to them. However, Western sanctions made the modernization of this plane viable. Much as I love this plane, I see serious long-term problems in the horizon. This is because in spite of modernized avionics and flight dynamics, it is simply uneconomical. Un the plane reminds me of the Airbus A340-300 and the Airbus A340-600, both powerhouse planes with four engines. I love the A340 as much as I love the Illusion 96, but the things we love sometimes do not make sense. So what does the Illusion 96400M have? It has four engines being the PS90A1 turbofan engine and if it's anything like the Illusion 96300 which has the less powerful variant the PS90A it will be reliable with an excellent safety record. The PS90A is a modern engine. This engine is what powers the two engine TU214 and as I have said the Illusion 96300. It is produced by Avia Vigatel, who manufactured the self-reconfiguring PD-14 for the MC-21 and I did a video on that a while back which I will link at the end. But the PS90A1 is simply not powerful enough to power a two-engine Illusion 96400M. Bluntly put, maintaining four engines is obviously more expensive than two. If we look at comparable commercial wide bodies in service, only other four engines are the A380, the Boeing 747 and the A340. We know that most of the few airlines that still have the Boeing 747 and the A340 are planning to retire them. Moreover, both the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A340 are no longer in, produc in production. The Boeing 747 ceased production in 2023 and in the case of the Airbus A340, Airbus had read the tea leaves and stopped production in 2011. A viewer might point me to the A380, but this is different, as due to the size of the plane, two engines was never an option, but even this aircraft has ceased production. A manufacturer does not stop producing a plane that is selling well. Commercial planes have to make money for the manufacturer, the suppliers, the, and the airline. And it is this fate that the Illusion 96400M may realistically eventually meet. But this is not the only disadvantage. That disadvantage is the cockpit configuration. The plane needs two pilots and an engineer with the latter handling the throttle. This is arguably safer as it spreads the workload, but the days of a three-man cockpit crew are long gone. It just does not make economic sense if the airline using it hope to compete and make money. This might work if the Russian government pays subsidies, but airlines from other countries will no doubt complain and say that it is unfair competition. This is another added complication, but I do not dismiss the Illusion 96400M in an offhand manner and there remains a possibility that its fate won't be as I am predicting. This depends on the extent of the modernization if the changes can really produce significant fuel savings such as carbon fiber wings and improvement to the PS90A1 engine which Avia Vigatel continue to try and improve. Following the first test flight in November 2023, United Aircraft Corporation have been very quiet about this plane and its progress. At the same time, they give endless updates on the MC-21 and the SJ-100. The reasonable conclusion that could possibly be drawn is that things are not progressing smoothly. What other modernization does this plane require to give it a real chance of success? 
The game changer would be if the modernization results in the successful development and use of the PD-35, Russia's future wide-body engine. With the PD-8 and PD-14, Russia has shown that there is a high chance that the PD-35 will eventually come into operation. This will change the economics of this plane dramatically as it would allow for two engines. But all of this takes time and risks cannot be taken in terms of aviation safety and the obligations to meet required international standards. A rebuild similar to the Superjet SJ100 is what is required. I have a video on the rebuild of the SJ100 coming up in the next few weeks. So do subscribe if you wish to get notified when it is published or it may well be that I have already published it ahead of this video. That said, the only sure basis in which the Illusion 96400M can be successful if, is if the criteria for success is based on aviation independence and national security. In the world of sanctions, it would be hard to argue against such a goal. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.